Hello, I'm Sean the Book Maniac, and I have a surprise for you. Lindy sent me another camera flip video. This is her reaction to the Governor General's shortlist. They don't call it a shortlist. They call it the finalists. Um, and uh, she sent it to me, and I'm delighted to put it up. I typically just put camera flip videos up as is. But when I watched it, and I saw how gorgeously she described the covers of some of the books, I thought I would let you enjoy her descriptions alongside the actual covers of the ones she didn't have, so uh, that's a surprise for Lindy as well, because she was just expecting me to, as per usual, just put whatever camera flip videos I get up without touching them, but I did have fun inserting a few cover images. Without further ado, here's Lindy. Hello, Sean. I am doing this camera flip video for you as my reaction to the GG Awards, the Governor General's um, finalists for fiction, uh, just came out yesterday, and I have some thoughts, and here they are. Two of them are books that I've read already, and I'll save those till the end. Um, one I had never heard of before, and I'm probably most excited to pick that one up. It is called Home Waltz, and it's by um, Gordon Grisenthwaite. I can't show you a cover because I don't have one, um, but I can describe it to you. It's uh, a painting of feathers that are hanging from beaded strings, and the feathers are kind of salmon-colored and then the background is a uh, dark blue. And um, Grisenthwaite lives in Ontario, but he is from uh, uh, one of the Salish peoples in uh, nations in uh, Lytton, British Columbia. And uh, his nation is the Nlaklapama. I think. I need to practice a lot on how to say some of these indigenous names. You might have to look that one up. Anyway, uh, the story I think is set in the 70s, but yeah, contemporary realism. Um, and like I said, I'm really looking forward to it. It is published by Palimpsest Press, and um, their website is about as hard to navigate as the GG website, actually. Um, uh, <laughs> you mentioned that one of the uh, things you don't like about the GG website, I feel exactly the same way, because when you go to the list of um, finalists, you can scroll through and see pictures of the covers, um, and then there's a little plus sign, but when you click on that plus sign, all you get is a printed title, author, and publisher. There's no further link or description or anything like that, so they don't make it easy to find out. Um, and Palimpsest Press uh, they don't have a search box on their website, and um, I was trying to find out when exactly this book came out, because on Goodreads it says it came out in September 2020. Um, on the Palimpsest Press website it says October 2020, um, but there are very few ratings on Goodreads. It seems not many people have picked this up. Um, anyway, I'm going to get my hands on a copy and I'm looking forward to reading it. Uh, another one of the books on the list is a graphic novel by Joe Ullman and I have read one of his books before. Um, it was one that won the Doug Wright Award. That's a Canadian graphic novel award. Oh, about 15 years ago and the book was called 
something like It Will All End in Tears. I think that was the title. Uh, I should look that up. This Will All End in Tears. Yeah, it was a collection of short stories in comics format. And his style is, um, it reminds me of kind of old-fashioned newspaper comics, maybe. Um, uh, none of his people look beautiful, you know, <laughs> but he he writes about inner lives, basically. And so the cover of this one, Fictional Father, uh, it's uh, like a portrait of a grumpy old man, and it's all done in blue. And then there's a a black sort of drippy smiley face <laughs> across his frown and he's got an index finger dripping black and in the other hand he's holding an ink bottle so that's what the cover looks like and um, I'm actually looking forward to that one too he's uh, Joe Ullman from what I remember has kind of a, a warts and all uh, portrayal of kind of middle-class life yeah and then um, the third book on the list is by Rachel Cusk and this title is also or was also on the Booker long list I don't think it made the short list it's called second place um, I've read her outline trilogy and I loved it I really like her style um, but this one is a standalone, and um, apparently it's based on um, Mabel Dodge Lewin's memoir, and uh, or inspired by it. And uh, it's uh, about a, a fraught situation when a woman invites an artist to come and stay at um, her family's second place, and I guess it turns everything upside down. So the two that I have read, um, one of them is called Tena, The Unseen Ones. Um, it's short stories by Norma Dunning, who is Inuit. Uh, she was born in Quebec and um, she now lives in Edmonton. She was um, one of the people leading the charge against the um, uh, National Football League in Canada, sorry, the C CFL, Canadian Football League's uh, team here in Edmonton is the Edmonton Eskimos. And um, finally, they have changed their name. They're the Edmonton Elks and now. And uh, I liked her collection, Annie Muckluck, a little better than this one. But I have to say I loved Annie Muckluck. So um, even though this one didn't quite live up to it, it's still really good and I'm actually tempted to reread it and that's always a good sign um, of a good book and I want to reread. And then the final book I've talked to you about before, um, You Are Eating an Orange, You Are Naked by Shung King. And um, I was really disappointed that this one didn't make the Giller, um, but here it is on the GG list, so it's got another chance. And <laughs> that's the one I'm rooting for so far. Bye for now.